All right, listen up, Task Force X. What I'm about to tell each of you is a matter of life and death. Great. I was afraid this wasn't going to be multiple choice. There's a test? <gasps> Should I have been studying? Ollie, what the hell have you gotten us roped into? <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Enough. Now, Kondak is located on the Sinai Peninsula, just east of Egypt. Though it technically is an Asian country, it does primarily follow similar cultural tendencies to their Egyptian neighbors. Quinn, why is your hand raised? I have a question. No, you will not have to worry about fighting mummies. Thank you. Ugh, now, Kondak officially has no ruler. How is that possible? Like I stated before, the country is hell-bent on tradition, even if those traditions are worshipping gods that most of the world forgot existed 5,000 years ago. So, these Kandakians, they have no king? They are ruled by their religion? Yes, and they're isolationists. They hardly interact with other countries unless it's for things such as imports and exports. So who do we have to kill, Waller? A human is not the target of this mission. We've received intel that Kondak has started a weapons program and is on the verge of something greater than the world has ever seen. Your job will be to break into the capital city of Sharuda, find this weapon, and destroy it. Do this, and ten years are off each of your sentences. This is ridiculous. A stealth mission with a clown. I could do this on my own. Yeah, no offense, lady, but pretty sure B-Man's got this covered. If this weapon is unleashed upon the world, it would make the Manhattan Project look like a science fair project. This is all hands on deck. Why not just notify the Justice League? Flash could be in and out in the time it takes for us to have this meeting. Mm. Let me ask you something, Canary. Who is the leader of the free world? Uh, the president? Now, does the president look like a kid in a red jumpsuit and super speed to you? What are you getting at? The Flash and the rest of the Justice League may have saved the planet before, but they aren't on America's payroll. Costume freaks don't protect us. Our flag does. Yeah, yeah, red, white, and blue. I got an eagle cooking bacon on the grill as we speak, but this could prevent... Do not forget who's in charge here, Arrow. Because I promise, detonating your skull would be so... Oh, much more rewarding if I blew up hers first and made you watch. What did you just say to me? <laughs> the next room will have everyone's gear. Continue down the hallway to the helipad. You're out in five. Hey, I'm not done with you! Ollie, please! That's enough! You two can squash the beef after we get these bombs out of our heads. <sighs> hey, Croc, you. Wouldn't it be funny if we swapped clothes for the mission? <laughs> you know, I just wear shorts, right? Ooh, scandalous! Oliver Queen, what the hell have you gotten us into? We had a home, money... I was at the prime of my kick-ass career. And now the two of us just had to stand back and watch as these uh, criminals entered a room and geared up. Deadshot mounted wrist-mounted machine guns. Nikolai donned a huge metal suit of armor, while Harley looked as if she were making the most difficult choice of her life, between a baseball bat and a giant hammer. She went with the hammer. Hey, you two. Aren't you going to get dressed? Uh, yeah. Come on, pretty bird. Oliver and I joined the rest of them inside the equipment room where they had our gear placed in individual lockers for each of us. Our clothes, our armor, green arrows, bow and quiver. I could see Oliver analyzing it closely for even the slightest inconsistency. How the hell did she get this stuff? This is insane. Insane? I'll tell you what's insane. We're practically matching. The blonde hair, the fishnets. <laughs> One of us is going to have to change or else everyone will get confused. Nobody's going to get you two confused, Harley. We'll be able to tell by which one won't stop yapping. And which one got us here in the first place. Whoa, 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 big guy. Nightwing put you in here, not Black Canary. She put Count Vertigo in here, didn't she? 
It's all your types are good for. Oh, I'll show you just what I'm good for. How about you meet me outside, Frost? Trust me, Canary. I'm out of your league. Killing you would be mercy. Try me, bitch! Nobody will be killing anyone on this team. What the hell? How did you get that? The armor? <laughs> I made it myself. It was a perfect replica of one of Batman's older suits. A blue cowl with great armor, a long cape highlighted by a yellow utility belt, and ovular bat symbol. Not a chance. This is authentic. Waller did mention that he broke into the Batcave. Even stole the Batmobile. I didn't break in. It's my cave and my car. You tell him, B-Man. And you? Waller just re-implants your Vertigo device? Of course. It's a part of me. Word of advice, Arrow. You want out of this mess? Shut up. Do your job. Survive the mission. Understood? And why would I listen to you? Because I've done this before. I've watched people like you get their heads blown off for having a moral compass. Ditch it. He's right. Be like me. I ditched the moral compass years ago. Ugh, we do not work as heroes by becoming villains. Then I'll see you in hell. Task Force X, load up. Now. You heard her, ladies. To the helicopter. Now. Aye, aye, Captain. Come on, Canary. You're sitting next to me. Oh, lovely. Deadshot, Arrow, hang back for a moment. What is it, Waller? Green Arrow will be taking the lead role on this mission. What? That will be all. You may board with the rest of the team now. Ma'am, with all due respect, he's never done this before. He's gonna get himself along with the rest of the squad killed. Hey! Hmm. You say you respect me, but still dare to contradict an order? Have you forgotten our deal? Have you forgotten your daughter? I... <laughs> no. No, I haven't. Good. Then you two may board. Good luck, gentlemen. So this weapon, do we even know what it's supposed to look like? Trust me, if it's anything like the tech I've developed, you'll know it when you see it. We won't have to see the weapon. We'll just burn down the operation the moment we recognize it. Right, Deadshot? Don't look at me. I'm not the one leading this mission. Then who is? I am. And, if you all want to survive, you will do exactly as I say. Preposterous. I don't know about the rest of you, but I will not be taking orders from the likes of you. I, for one, will proudly bow to our new blonde overlords. Especially you, Canary! Please let go of me. So, that's it? Waller packs up a couple of heroes and suddenly they're in charge? You've all done this before, right? You know why that is? Because you've all been caught. Deadshot, who took you in? Wonder Woman. And how'd that happen? She happened to be in DC the day I was hired to assassinate the Secretary of Defense. And you got caught. All right, Cauldron, who took you in? It took the might of Superman to take me down. But he did take you down. Yes. Well, I suppose. I don't even have to ask you, Count Vertigo. Do I? <laughs> Damn right. We're on a mission to destroy a top secret weapon in one of the most isolated countries in the world. Do you really want to get caught here? Batman never gets caught. I hate to break it to you, but you're not Batman. You want to run that by me again? Fight! 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 <laughs> My money's on Batman. Oh, is it now? Well, come on then, fake Batman, bring it! No, no! There will be no fighting! How the hell have you all done this before? We were all on the same page, Hero. All of our interests aligned. 
Where do your interests lie? Getting the hell out of here. Finding the man who hired you and shoving an arrow where the sun doesn't shine. Who hired him? I'll... I'll tell you later. Hand over the reins of this mission to me, Arrow. I'll show you how it's done. Not a chance, Deadshot. How about a shootout? My bullets versus your arrows. <laughs> you wouldn't stand a chance. Try me. Boys, please. Enough with the pissing contest. You're both very pretty. How about whoever survives this mission gets to lead the next one? Deal. There isn't going to be a next one. This is it. We aren't like you all. We aren't getting caught again. Well, if you want to get all technical, I didn't get caught. <laughs> right. Because you felt guilty for killing the kid. I didn't kill that kid. Mr. J said... What? You set the charges, I'll grab the crowbar? You weren't there. It wasn't like that. I know why you're here, Harley. For protection. Because you know that if Batman ever got his hands on you... Stop it! Stop. That's enough, Arrow. I can see that there are high tensions between us all. But for the next few days, we must become comrades. If we are to be... What the hell was that? Something just hit us. Everyone, hang on to something. Not those, Harley. Oops, sorry. Ugh. I'm gonna be sick. What's out there? Does anyone have eyes on it? Ugh. When did it get so cloudy out? Radar showed that we just crossed Kondok's airspace. Oh, they must have seen us coming and took a shot the second we crossed the border. Does this chopper have any weapons? It has one. Let me out, and I will show no mercy. Wait, uh, you can fly? I took on Superman tonight. He may be the best option we have. All right, take out whatever hit us, then guide the helicopter down to safety. Vertigo, get that door open. Of course. The door opened, and the first thing I noticed was that Croc was completely right. The blue skies of before had gone pitch black. Ripples of thunder crackled on the surface. Cauldron looked eager to step out in his suit of highly advanced tech. He adjusted the flamethrower on his arm and looked back at us, giving a nod before leaping off into the storm, his jet boots propelling him forward. He better make it quick. We're losing altitude fast. She was right. Plus, the helicopter was beginning to spin more and more. Cauldron! Cauldron, do you read me? Cauldron? Yes, Cauldron. But I see no sign of heavy artillery down here. Perhaps it was just the storm. Just get back here and bring us down! Yes, sir. On my way back. I could catch fleeting glimpses of the silver armor of Cauldron rocketing up towards us, until there was a massive roar of thunder. The entire aircraft shook, and everyone grasped onto whatever was closest to them. And when I caught sight of Cauldron again, there was a massive black shadow moving in from behind him, like a shark approaching its prey. Cauldron, look out! I'm almost there. More thunder, and the world seemed to shake. The figure was right on top of Cauldron, whose armor began to spew flames wildly. What the hell is that? It's a man. But worry not, Cauldron. He's no match for the might of Cauldron. Test flames! Waller didn't say anything about metahumans. Maybe it's Superman? He doesn't know it's us. Certainly not Superman. Gah! He seems to command the skies. Deadshot, can you land this thing? It won't be easy. Do it! Cauldron, keep our friend busy until- oh! oh my god! We all watched through the back hatch as Cauldron's comms went off with a sickening silence. His suit of armor began to plummet from the skies. All except for his arms. The flames had ceased from his turret, each arm dangled as they were held by the hands of a madman. 
Lightning flashed again, allowing a short glimpse at his face. A stern expression, one of no remorse for the brutality he just brought upon Nikolai. A receding black hairline, with pointed, almost elf-like ears. His black suit, adorned with a large lightning bolt down his torso. He was inhuman. I changed my mind. I'd like to go back to my cell now. Not a chance. I'm putting this thing down. He's starting to get closer. Stand back. I'll blast him with a scream. Not a chance. The force would disrupt the landing. I could throw a battering at him. Do it. That always works. Vertigo, hit him with everything you've got. Arrow, it's do or die time. If this goes wrong, shut up, Canary. It won't go wrong. Do it. All right, here it goes. Brace for impact. Arrow Canary. Part 3, Thunderstruck. Written, directed, edited, and produced by Matthew Dawson. The cast for this episode, by order of appearance, include Tiani Ma as Amanda Waller, Stacy Clifton as Killer Frost, Ivy as Harley Quinn, Crystal Storm as Black Canary, Adam Kornman as Green Arrow, Joey Sourless as Deadshot. B.D. Cook as Cauldron. James Gavsey as Batman. Ryan Yoshitani as Killer Croc. And Max Adrian Burton as Count Vertigo. This production is the effort of Mortal Verse Audio Dramas and its volunteering associates. It is in no way affiliated with or representative of Warner Brothers or DC Comics and their characters. This project was created by the fans for the fans to show our appreciation towards this franchise. This project has been released for free. Thank you to everyone who helped bring this project to life. Mortal Vs. Audio Dramas will always be grateful for your time and dedication to this project. Dedicated to Kevin Dawson.